How you going guys? Back on the uh, on the Goldie again down at uh, a landlocked lake and the reason I'm here is because of you guys so what I mean by that is in the last video if you haven't seen it where uh, me and my mate Chris O dived a landlocked lake on the Gold Coast and saw incredible fish you guys gave me a heap of thumbs up and encouragement through your comments to uh, to get out and keep doing it so without that encouragement I'd probably move on and do something else but it's not just about likes it's about encouragement and you guys telling me what you want to see and I, I guess I depend on that to uh, to know what to do next so I'm back here again I'm gonna get down in a shallow lake on the Gold Coast and um, see what's around here uh, I'll tell you what I have seen. I've seen a bow wave on the water. It was something real big. I'm pretty sure, I'm 99% sure it wasn't a, a bull shark, but it's definitely something big in here. It's mainly salt. There's probably a partial bit of fresh in here, but hopefully uh, you enjoy this one, guys. And uh, encourage me through your comments, your, your likes and subs to, uh, to keep doing it. And uh, that's exactly what you'll see next. So... Oh, there's a fish. Alright, um, I'm getting in. Got some uh, worms here. They're a few days old, so... I don't know how they're kicking along, but kept them in the fridge. Going to drop them down with the camera. Bit of action over in those mangroves there. Let's have a look downstairs. I spotted my first school of fish just grazing in front of me. I moved further in the roots and there was a fish there. It looked like a tilapia, it was pretty shy. And he took off pretty quick. But then there are a couple that stuck around and got used to me. I wanted to put a camera down on the edge of one of the nests just to see what the tilapia would do in their natural environment without me around. The next step was to drop a couple of nightcrawler worms inside their nest. Now I know tilapia are a pretty territorial species and they don't mind the odd Nightcrawler for dinner, and this is when I captured some pretty incredible footage. I wanted to turn down all the music so we could listen to what these fish were doing in their natural environment and some of the sounds they were making. The first tilapia came in and he was pretty aggressive. Looks like he was a bit hungry too. Here was the second tilapia. He was a little bit bigger. Not as active on the night crawler worms, but definitely protective of anything outside the nest. Tilapia were introduced to Australia around the 1970s. It was actually an ornamental fish found in fish tanks. And then one day someone released them. And now they're a major threat to Australia's native population of fish. So the aggressive fish looked pretty hungry. He came back to finish 
the rest of the night crawlers off. One of the really interesting things about these fish is their different personalities. And that's not only with how aggressive they are, but it's with some of the sounds that they make. So let's sit back and watch these fish and see if you can differentiate between their different personalities. Some nice red tips on the fins there. They're actually quite pretty fish. They're a member of the cichlid family. Finally, the tilapi with the red tips had come in and decided to clean up his nest. You may start noticing they're making some interesting noises. If you notice with those clicking noises, their body shakes as they're making that noise. It's quite interesting. Just chasing a bunch of uh, brim out, quite aggressive. This one's really protective. It won't let other fish near its own nest. Have a look at its mouth shake as it's making those noises. certainly an aggressive uh, tilapia showing the brim who's boss I can imagine it's looking at my GoPro and thinking, what are you? And you don't belong here.
making those unusual noises again. It's definitely not happy about my GoPro sitting on the edge of its nest. Well, if you guys found that interesting, let us know in the comments what you thought about the behavior of these two tilapia and especially some of the sounds they were making, the clicking and the barking. That was quite interesting. Let us know. A thumbs up is always appreciated and we'll see you guys next time. Let us know what you'd like to see in the next episode.